Mason Plumley got it inside to Rivers. What a pass by Mason Plumley the junior. I don't know what Bernard James is doing. He's just standing there watching a half-hearted attempt at the pass. That pass was Western Union. And he still didn't get a hand on it. As I said, Curry along three. No. Offensive rebound, Rivers. The tempo has certainly been in the Seminoles' favor. It's only 22 to 19. Rivers. Well, when you're playing Duke, you can't afford a mental letdown. Normally, they've had success going over top of the screen, but this time, defender goes underneath, which gives an opportunity for Austin Rivers. Now to Rivers, 12 on the shot clock, and it'll be up to the freshman from Winter Park, Florida, to do it on his own. Has to force the long shot and got it! How about that? Once again, shot clock goes to 10 and under. They give it to their best creator. Laux gets out on him. He takes another long three. Can't, I was going to say can't hit that one. I think it hit the shot clock. And it won't count. Mike Kitts right on the spot to make the call. Well, just a little shake, bake, and take. And we get hit. That's why he did that. They let some time run off the clock. It's down to 4.1 seconds. It looked like it hit some apparatus. Might have been on. Players need more room on the baseline. Good inbounds to Rivers. Take a look right there. It's a, a lot of people misinterpret. Rivers, tough drive. Decisiveness, aggressiveness by the freshman just when his team needs it. It is a two-point game. 358 left. Well, you knew he was going to get it. He breaks you down. We'll leave it up to Rivers down the lane. 